So for those of you that want to download the package via Composer to actually do the check, this does provide uh, a more elegant way to actually perform the check. So the first thing that we're going to do is set up the client side. Uh, if you haven't seen the last part already, we're going to redo this. And uh, then what we're going to do is implement the um, back end because what we do is we require a token to be sent to the back end to check. And we're going to be using the recapture library to do this. So first thing is first then, we already have our application set up. We need to start at step one, which is the client side integration. So this will get our recapture form uh, or, or our recapture widget as part of our form. So the first thing to do is download the JavaScript. Uh, this template you can find as part of the course download. So if you don't already have it, uh, download this and it will be index.php. And this just is a form, as you can see here, with uh, Bootstrap loaded in. But obviously, you can just go ahead and implement this on your own form. So we want to pull in this JavaScript library. So we just basically paste this down here, just at the end of our body. And the next step then is to place the widget where we want it to be seen. And this includes a data attribute, which is our uh, public key. So we're going to copy this. I'm going to paste it just after this first form field like that. So it's just after the uh, email address and before the submit button. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to add a few styles up here or one style, which is a margin bottom of 10 pixels. And that just spaces things out a little bit. So now what we want to do then is because we're submitting this through to signup.php, of course, this could be a root if you're using a framework or a router, we need to create this file. So let's go and create signup.php. And what we're going to do in here is we're going to check the contents of the post super global array. So if I hit sign up now, you can see that as well as email, we actually now get this G recapture response property. And at the moment that's empty because we didn't actually do anything here. But if we were to check this and we were to go ahead and select all images with street signs, uh, that one will do. Oh no, I failed it. So with ice cream, that looks like ice cream to me. Uh, that doesn't, there we go. So when I hit sign up, you can see that we get this really long string. And what we're going to be doing with this is passing it through to the Google Recapture API. And the package allows us to easily do this. So the first step then is to go ahead and actually download the package. So if I head over to the Google Recapture GitHub page, you can see that we can just require this in with Composer. I'm going to go ahead and open my terminal. I'm within this recapture folder. That's the folder I'm work currently working within. And I'm just going to paste that in and that will go ahead and, uh, and download that. And now that that's done, what we're going to do is kind of set up our application. So we have a bootstrap file because what we're going to, going to need to do is instantiate this recapture library. So I'm going to create a new folder called app under recapture. And in here, I'm going to create a file called bootstrap php and in here I'm going to require in composers autoloader and then down here we'll instantiate the the recapture library in a moment so in sign up what I actually want to do now is require in app bootstrap.php and let's get rid of this var dump over in bootstrap we actually want to um, create a new instance of recapture, pass in our private key, and then we'll be ready to fire requests off to the API. So I'm going to call this recapture. And it's a new instance of recapture. And recapture. So this is the class name and it's namespaced under recapture. So you can pop a use statement up here if you want, but we'll leave it like this for now. And then here is our private key. So if we head over to recapture, we can see our private key here or our secret. I'm going to paste this in and we're now ready to fire requests off. Perfect. So now that we've done that on any page that we want to validate this, we can just use the functionality required uh, or included in this library. So I'm going to say response equals I'm going to say recapture verify. 
So into here now, we pass in a required option, which is the response we get through from the form. And the second option, which is optional, or the second parameter, which is optional, is the IP address of the user. I'm not going to include this, but you can go ahead and uh, put this in if you want to. So remember when we did a var dump on the post super global earlier, we got this G recapture response. And then in here, you can go ahead and enter your user's IP address, however you are doing that. But I'm going to get rid of that just for now. So now that we've done that, then we can use the methods that are available. So we can say if not, so if this is false, is success. So if this has failed, we can go ahead and use this handy get error codes method. And we can do a var dump on errors. Now, in this case, what you'd want to do is inspect the errors, determine the type of error, and you want would want to redirect the user back and uh, say to them, sorry, you failed, please try again, or please fill out the capture. So otherwise, down here, we would register the user. So in our case, then what's going to happen is if we do fail it, or if something goes horribly wrong, we, someone doesn't fill it out, we're going to just var dump the errors here. So let's go and try this out, see if it works. I'm not going to enter the email address. It's not really important. I'm going to hit sign up. And you can see here that we have an array. Those are the errors that we're doing a var dump on. And we have missing input response. So if your array contains this, you can shoot the user back and say, please fill out the capture. If we go ahead and successfully pass it. So let's select all of this food. What is that? Um, I think that's OK. Yeah. So we hit sign up. We see an empty page because this has evaluated to false because we do have success. And then down here, you would go and register your user and do whatever you wanted to do. So that is how we implement Google Recapture using the Google Recapture library available on GitHub. And it really is that simple to do. And now you can protect against automated form submission.